Hello, Nils here. Got my rocket stove, got it painted up, cleaned up, it ain't too bad. I've got a couple of holes on my rotten welding, there's another one there, somewhere. And there's one there, oh, I hope there ain't too many. But it seems to have worked, I cut another hole at the back. slot for it I've got to take the base back off again I try and do this without burning my hands off I changed the top I've got to realign them holes um, you can see the top and it seems to be uh, pulling all right which is a result to be honest I had another bit which was already stuff Another piece of scrap metal, a bit of stainless. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's roasting hot. Let's see if I can. Um, that's been pulling about 10 minutes, I suppose. And as for the chimney, what's it like? Oh, there's a plane. Can you see that plane? Where's that? Can you see that? It's a little smoky, it's not too bad. Let's see if we're not burning. Anyhow, um, the brace is a bit temporary. I mean, on the door, um, I've re insulated the door, I've still got to clear that up um, and tidy it up a little bit more. Um, but the paint. My temperature paint seems to have worked all right. It took me took me a while to sand it down. And I was going to do some sort of um, drop down. Because uh, that is the, the, the ash pan. Um, so I've still got a little bit of tinkering about to do. But the, the stainless went on to the steel. Not too bad. And luckily the paint hides most of my crap welding. Um... Yeah, I'll put some fire cement around the inside of this to hopefully seal it up. So we'll see how that goes. The um, I'll get this lid off again. Now that fire rope and that is still drying out. Um, but it seems to be all right. Where is it? That's only about three quid. Focus. Ready mix cement for all types of fire and high temperature applications. Heat resistant to 1250. Well, if I get the 1250, it, probably because the aliens who've nicked me have thrown me back into orbit and I'm breaking up, coming in. Breaking up, Chief, I'm breaking up. Anyhow, I'm well happy with that. Obviously, the top. Is uh, I started to have another go, but I'm buggered if I can get these these welds particularly to run properly. It seems to puddle or spit. Maybe I'm not cleaning it properly. I'm not too sure. I mean, when I'm doing it, I'm I'm angling it so that it's level, and uh, I did all right on some clean stuff some new stuff but um, I mean it shouldn't really matter but on the bench trying to do mix two thicknesses which is the other difficulty I face different thicknesses of material is a uh, yeah I shouldn't be blaming everything should I on on the on my tools and stuff but there you go oh saying that and it's going out That's fine. I just wanted to give it a test and get the get the it says it should be. If it's it's hot on there, 
But it's sizzling on there. Oh, sizzling. I could literally fry some bacon straight on that. Not that I would because it would go everywhere. And then I'd have a fire or something. But I do have an oil. Um. An idea about the oil. I've got a diesel thing um, which might go well on this on this door somewhere so I could run it on veggie I mean that's quite a quite a decent sized off an old Jenny so that would mean an, another hole or um, bit of tube I've got a a, um, well I've got to try it out let's see see how I get on um, just reorganise everything and uh, I've got the scrap yard and get rid of the bucket of bits and little scraps of stainless and metal I've got floating about now so anyhow that's long enough that's good enough oh I've got to show you an axe what I've, it was um, it was like this with these big cuffs and a dirty great head on it horrible um, great big thing like that and I thought I'd give it a give it a little have a little play with it it's a bit uh, well I don't know if I'd know what straight is if you know what I mean. Um, I'm not sure if that's a left-handed axe, to be honest. Left-handed handle, anyway. Because it's definitely out of the way. It's a good... Um, well, maybe I'll have to keep going with that, but the edge isn't too bad. Oops, focus. There are a few horrible nicks in it. So maybe I could try and put a weld in there. <laughs> but see, some of the stuff I've got there, I don't think I'll bother. I might polish it up and um, lacquer it. And, uh, when I break this handle, I'll put a new handle on it, you know what I mean? I'll leave it until I break it. It's a little bit uh, cantankerous in places. And some of it I didn't finish because I will finish when I take when I put a new handle, but it seems to work fine. Let's test it out on something without chopping my hands. No, I can't do this with my hands decided no <laughs> alright anyhow the biogas is uh, still warming up if you like I haven't fed it anything yet I think it's about time it's it's not really I shouldn't have it sitting on this slab um, but what else can I do anyhow YouTube that's me done I'm quite happy with my little stove now. Keep me warm next winter.